Today, I'm going to show you where you can find your personalized URL links on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and then how you can hyperlink those URLs to social media icons that you can include on your resume document, an infographic, or even in your email signature on Microsoft Outlook. All right, first I've created a blank Word document where I'm going to keep all of these links in one place. So I'm gonna copy and paste them here. So let's go out to YouTube and get our URL. When you log into YouTube, simply go up to your name at the top and log into the studio. So from the studio, scroll down on the left-hand side down to customization. From here, come up to the basic info tab and then scroll down. You'll notice that you have a channel URL, and if you are eligible, you can also have a custom URL. So they'll take users to the same place, so you can copy either one, but if you don't have a, a custom URL yet, be sure and just copy your channel URL. So simply click in the window to highlight it and hit Control C to copy. Then we'll come back over to our Word document and we'll hit Control V to paste that, hit our space bar and it hyperlinks. Now let's go to LinkedIn and grab our personalized URL on LinkedIn. From LinkedIn, come over to your picture here and click on View Profile. From here, you can say Edit, Profile, and URL. You can personalize your LinkedIn URL by clicking on this icon over here. You'll notice I used my domain name for my website to customize mine. And now I'm just going to copy this control C and paste it into my Word document. And hit enter. And then now let's grab our Twitter URL. So come to Twitter and on the left hand side, just click on profile. And when you click on profile, you'll notice that your personalized URL shows up in the web browser. So you can select that and hit copy and then paste that. Now that we have all of our personalized links, let's go ahead and download some free social media icons that we can use on as graphics in our documents. I'm gonna use a website called Icons for Free and I'll include a link in the description below this video if you're interested in using these, you're, you can use these. I always recommend that you read the disclaimers for any privacy notifications when you download graphics on the internet. I'm gonna scroll down and they have um, some free social icons, so I'm gonna click there. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these. So I'm going to click on the YouTube. And I want to download a PNG. So I'm going to click over here on the PNG options. And it's going to give me a different size options that I can choose. So I can download a real small version or a larger version. I'm going to go ahead and download the 128 by 128. And it comes down here on my downloads. And I'm just going to click open. And now I'm going to right click on the image and select copy. And I'm gonna come back into my document and hit Control V to paste. So now I have the icon here in my Word document. So what I wanna do now is hyperlink it. So I'm gonna copy the URL. I'm gonna hit Control C for my YouTube link. I'm gonna come down and select the image and I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna select link. And in the link address down here, I'm going to place my cursor and paste. And then click OK. Now that social media icon is hyperlinked to my personal YouTube channel. So when a user clicks on it, it'll take them to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on the image again. And I'm going to select a wrap text option of behind text. So for now, that's going to help me. I can just move this around wherever I want to on my document. I can resize it if I want. I can make it smaller by dragging it in. And so I can do different things now with that image. So let's go ahead and grab our other two images for LinkedIn and Twitter and do the same thing. I'm going to grab this LinkedIn icon, select download PNG, 128 by 128. Come down here to my downloads, click open. I'm going to right click, copy, come back into my Word document, and paste. Now I can move that document. I can right click on it, select wrap text, select behind text, and I can move it around. Now let's go ahead and hyperlink it. We're going to copy our LinkedIn URL. Select our icon, right click, 
link and paste into the address and click OK. Now let's size that down a little bit and grab our Twitter. Download PNG 128 by 128. Come to our download bar, select open and right click, copy, come back to our Word document and paste. We're going to select it, right click, wrap the text for behind text and move it over. Now we're going to copy our URL and then right click, select link and copy that into the address, click OK. And now we can size that one down. Now you have a Word document that contains all of your social media icons that are hyperlinked to your personalized pages. Now let's take a look at how we could add these onto your email signature in Outlook. So let's go into Outlook. And I'm going to create a new message like I'm going to send a new email. And from here on the message ribbon, I'm going to come up to Signature and click on Signatures. From here, I'm going to select the email signature that I want to edit. And let's say that instead of including a typed out URL here, that I want to replace this with my YouTube icon so that when, when people click on it, it'll take them to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to backspace to delete that, hit enter to make space, place my cursor back there. I'm going to come back into Word and I'm going to select my hyperlinked YouTube social media icon and I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to come back into my Outlook email signature editing area and I'm going to right click and paste. Once I've pasted it in there, if I don't like the way it looks, if I want it to be a little bit smaller, I can actually come back into my Word document and resize it here. I can shrink it down a little bit and now copy it this size. I'm going to copy that and then come back into my signature editing area. I can delete the other size, right click and paste a smaller version. And I can do this, I can hit space, space, and I can add my other social media links as well. Now, once I'm done copying all of my social media hyperlinks in here, I can go down here and click OK. Now I'm ready to display my email signature on my email. And I can simply come up here to signature and select that signature and it will insert down there at the bottom of the body of my email. Users will then be able to hover their mouse or tap on that social media link and you'll notice that it takes them to my personalized URLs so that they will get to the correct place when they click on those social media icons. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.